Hey, it's me. This is part two of my art room tour. Since I did like some montage in part one, I feel the need to do it again. So... Fingers down the side. Girl, you look if you haven't already seen part one, you must go watch it now. You're not gonna understand anything that's going on otherwise. Yeah, you will, but... I gave you an overview, I showed you this whole half of the room, I gave you a sappy little speech, it's a dream come true, and a lot of awkwardness. <laughs> you don't want to miss that. This week, I'm wearing the exact same outfit, just for consistency's sake. Yay! Nobody cares. So, let's just pick up this video where we left off. Over here. So, let's open this cabinet up. Ta da I have these three boxes. This one is empty. This one is full of stuff. All kinds of stuff that has been sent in my P.O. box. This is like stuff that people have made for me. This whole bag of rainbow loom. Oh my gosh. What the? <laughs> this guy has more things that people have made for me. A custom fidget spinner. All kinds of tiny cute things that people have sent. Adorable, 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 adorable. The continuation of that set is over here with this green box and the orange box. Also this box, which is my YouTube box. This has youtube -y things, notes that I've gotten, a magazine I was in. Whoop! Buy. This one, more stuff that people have sent to me. Weird things, cute things, weirdly cute things. More stuff that people have sent to me. Muscle chicken, lots of little tattoos, pins, my foot. And in between, I have this. This is all stuff to tie dye. That looks like diarrhea. Um, I have this from like a really long time ago. I got into a tie dye phase where I was doing so much tie dye, but I haven't in a a really long time back there in the shadows. These are all empty tie-dye bottles. Down here I have a bunch of water-based spray paints. I got them for an upcoming video. I've never used them before though. They're cute. And down at the very bottom. Please be quiet. This, which is incredibly boring, it's an organizer full of miniature plastic bags. Wow. Yeah, and an empty wire basket. A lot of these like baskets and organizers and things come in big sets. I haven't quite filled all of them. Just give me time. Then we have these little cuties. This one is full of all bath bomb making supplies. Some of this came from those kits that I tried. Some of this I kind of bought afterward, but I'm a little bit scarred from my first experience. That's not good. This one. Um, this is a bunch of ribbon I actually got from a yard sale. Some lady was like selling her entire ribbon hoard and I was like, I'll, I'll take some of that. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. And this is staple gun. Kind of scares me. So we don't touch that. And finally, we have this little lonely bin, which is a bunch of tools and such. Mostly clay stuff. Oh, I lied. No, this is for ink. I have more shelves up here that we must discuss. Starting up here, I have the last remaining survivor of that pottery kit with this M that somebody painted for me. Then this shelf has a few little crafts that I've made. Welcome to my unicorn cubby. These are all unicorn themed things that I've made. This is a jewelry holder. I don't have any jewelry on it. I don't have anything in the jar either. Plus my pom-pom coaster. The other side of the shelf, I have this birdhouse. This is very old. This was not a part of a video. I just did this for fun. I don't love this that much anymore. What the heck is going on in the inside? What did I do in there? So once I've made something else, this will get evicted. Down here, I have a small assortment of squishy cupcakes that I've made. These are older squishies, but still good. The gummy bear cupcake, I mean, 
Look at that. And on the bottom I have some glass things. This little jewelry holder. I collected these when I was like 12. They're like out of tea boxes. And this is just a glass container, which is really pretty. And to the right, I have another set of shelves. I have my man, Shia. He's very sensitive about being called creepy, so please don't call him that. I have a couple peas in a pod, totally adorable. And a sock monkey, which I did not make but maybe one day I will. This is a fun little container. I like to hoard pencil pouches. This one I made, well, decorated. And so people always send me pencil pouches. So, sit up straight. On this shelf, which my flowers are kind of blocking. Let me just move those. There we go. I have a bunch of these Disney princess things and these fat pillow kind of things that I got from Five Below. They're really cute. Jasmine, don't be shy. I have this lovely flower arrangement, which I created myself. Do you like it? I, I like it. It's pretty. Yeah, yeah. And this basket also has flowers in it. These are from the Dollar Tree, and this is not for decoration. I actually got these for a future video, but kind of looks pretty, I think. And this bin back here is, I don't even know, things, okay? Lots of just random crap in there that I have to sort through later. Moving on to this set of drawers. This top drawer is my drawer of little shinies. I have a lot of different glitters here. I really like the idea of glitter. I mean, look at it, it's beautiful, right? But I actually don't use glitter that often. I don't know why. Why is that? Why do I have glitter on my fingers? Who's leaking? Bad glitter. I have a lot of sequins. Beautiful. This container is just kind of miscellaneous little shinies. More sequins. Careful. I haven't used these yet, but I'm sure I will. Can you not? This bin is little bags of kind of leftover little shinies. Very small little shinies. Can I stop saying little shinies, please? This is a set of flocking powder. I don't remember why I got this. This one is the only one that's missing a lot of the powder, and that's because, uh, yeah, it leaked all over the place. <laughs> which was a huge mess. So then I ended up just kind of bagging them individually. This one is just kind of a little bit of everything. Big thing of glitter. What is this? Oh, this is a hollow powder. I don't know. Woof, woof. I don't know why I just barked. And just some random tape things. And over here, I have a tin full of beads. Ugh goes all the way down. This box, I actually don't remember what I put in here, so this is gonna be a surprise to you and me both. Oh, <laughs> this is all old jewelry that I don't really wear anymore or is broken in case I ever could use the beads from it. And these little containers hold pins and pin backs, little things for making keychains. So that's everything in here. Next drawer is this one. It's all very beige and plain in this drawer. This is all stuff that can and should be painted at some point. Some of it is like leftovers from videos that I've already done. Some of it is stuff that I've never done before but have been intending to. I will, I will, I will. Next, oh, this is a good one. These are all art supplies. These little baskets are full of paints. This is watercolors and acrylic paints. Most of these are like almost empty. It's basically just all the boring colors left over. I have some scented markers. This is glass paint, which I have dabbled with, but would like to use more. These are water mixable oil paints. Brush markers, which I, have been wanting to play with for a while, but obviously have not. This is a watercolor set, which, uh, shocker, I actually do use it regularly. Hello Kitty Twistables, which I've literally had since, uh, I was a child. Brush pens. A very beaten up box of pastels. I have used these a lot. They take forever to go through. Oh. I hated that sound. Oil pastels, I've had these since I was a child. This watercolor set, um, oh gosh. Why do I have doubles of things? Embarrassing. Fresh set of paint brushes, which I actually do go through a lot of paint brushes, so this is fine. I have a spare set of microns because mine always seem to be dying. Watercolor pencils. This is not going back together as nicely as I had it before. This box is 
charcoal stuff. It's so dirty, ew. I took a drawing class and we had to use charcoal. This is retired, but I still have it for some reason. This beautiful creature here is a box of acrylic paints. I think that these are a little bit nicer than like the crappy ones that I showed earlier. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. It's an introductory set for students, so these are still pretty crappy, but they're not dollar store crappy, so it's a step up. Wow, going through this drawer, I realize how much of this stuff I have that I haven't used or haven't used in so long. I really need to use more of this. Okay, how did I have this before? Because this does not look as nice. Moving on. This drawer, despite the missing handle, is just... <laughs> It's beautiful on the inside. There's a hair. This is a bunch of ribbon. This is like kind of half used ribbon. Some little mini ribbons, ribbon scraps, thread. This little box is just random. Uh, I bought this to make little sprinkles, but I didn't use that much of it. On this side is air dry clay. So beautiful, oh my gosh. Anyway, and this is polymer clay here, eraser clay here, clay tools, and that ugly bucket is ugh, heavy air dry clay. What is this? Oh, that's actually helpful. Oh. Okay, that's it. So all that's left of this back wall is just these upper cabinets. So let's get into those. Starting over here, this cabinet has a couple green screens in it. I haven't used these in a long time, but they're good to have just in case. Bye-bye. This cabinet has my really old camera and my instant camera. Yep, that's it. This cabinet has this really enormous towel blanket, which I actually use on the floors when I'm filming like in the kitchen or something because otherwise it's super echoey. Moving right along. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. I'm panicking. This is stuff that I've picked up from yard sales or thrift stores. Gonna give it a makeover at some point. And oh, look at that. This is more stuff that I've gotten from yard sales and or thrift stores. Hide your face, that's a surprise. And there's more. This is all baking stuff. This is the last of the upper cabinets. This one is incredibly boring. Safety glasses, definitely need to get those on. Really ugly and boring stuff. And moving on to the next wall of bins, cabinets, and shelves. Starting with this shelf, I have these two unicorns, which my mom made. Vintage strawberry shortcake dolls. I've had most of these since I was like nine or 10. I have this thing, and I just painted on it to make it, you know. Cute. This is a little cupcake, which my mom also made that. You may recognize her. She's been featured in a couple videos. Don't worry, I'm a friendly doll. Unless you cross me. A couple little friends here, and and in this basket, I have, um, junk. Nothing of interest in there. Okay. A couple fruit-themed teapots and a pineapple candle, a donut mug, more animals from my mom, a couple boxes. My collection of air is in that one. It's serious. It's not a joke. This one has stuff that I've made, pencil pouch, my custom fidget spinners, and let me swing down here. I have this organizer from Ikea. I have a rainbow eraser. What is on my finger? Get out of here. Didn't we already see one of your kind? Rainbow eraser. Yes, I bought two of them for some reason. My donut pin cushion, pink pom-pom, rubber band ball. My create this book two. Couple notebooks. They're very pretty. Pantone color book. A ruler notebook, which somebody sent to me. Yes. A really cute clipboard that I have yet to use for anything. What is down in there? Found something. Over here, I have a little container of pens. Oh, this is my rock candy pen. This sprinkle coaster that somebody sent to me. I have a sewing machine. I got it for Christmas. I haven't used it, but I want to. I may or may not be kind of terrified of it though. <laughs> then I have Fred, my fake plant. I just made up that name. I didn't actually name the thing. And this pineapple cup. Over here, I have a stuffed seal and this box, which is my sewing stuff. <coughs> Also notice on this back wall, I have several mini tote bags that I painted on. Fred's in the way, get out of there, Fred. I have a YouTube pencil pouch and this pencil pouch, which is mine that I designed and it's for sale currently. Yep. Oh, shh. 
shoot. Then over here, I have this basket of fabric. So there's a lot of patterns to choose from. So when I need fabric, I can just go here. And back here is just a bunch of felt. This is just a magical decoration. Hello Kitty. Ah! This cute little bear. And then I have a mini basket with mini pieces of fabric. Moving over to this basket. This is full of very important um, adult items. Then of course I have this painted rock from one of my videos and my sensory bottle also from one of my videos. And the last thing on here is this big organizer with a couple little pigs snuggling. This is all kind of just random. This is all my shrink plastic templates. I have a bunch of small-ish canvases, some paper. So that's the last thing on top of the cabinets. Let's go down. Now, in these cabinets, I have all of these bins, which are completely customized. If you've been watching my videos, you may recognize them because I did a two-part series where I decorated all of these. So let's go ahead and explore their insides. That sounded gross. Starting with this first one. It has silicone molds in it. I used to use these more often than I do now, but they still do come in handy for you know purposes next we have a bin with pins on it so what's in here class squishies that's right wow that's annoying so in here I have squishies that I've decorated next we have more of these lovely silicone molds yes yes Ugh. Next is squishies. This is a very predictable pattern, as you can tell. And guess what? Silicone molds. What, what, what? What a shock. These are like the small kind of ones. And what do we have here? Squishies. Also notice that there's a pin of this one and it's in the inside and it, so you see this one too, it's in there. And what's in this one? Can you guess? I bet you can't because it's empty. <laughs> But the last one does have a lot more squishies in it. That's the final bin. And below these lovely custom bins, there's an entire row of cabinets. This first cabinet is where I keep Opie. When I'm not using him, just want to put him away, you know. Okay, you can come out of there now. Opie, you can come out now. <laughs> So actually, this is the only thing that I keep in here, which is currently empty. Moving to the next cabinet. This is all just wet stuff. Spray paint all the way back there in the darkness. Different glosses and mediums. This cabinet is sunken in because I assembled it improperly. This cabinet is full of glue. Also just random supplies that I was using for slime. Contact solution. I actually need more contact solution. Why is this in my craft room? I could actually use this. Next cabinet. I have a bin full of makeup sponges mainly. Stuff that I used to make squishies out of. It's really deep in there. I don't think I've actually used a makeup wedge for makeup. No, I don't use them for makeup. I actually just turn them into a uh, fake cake. This one here, oh, look at that, empty. Also, I put the insert in <laughs> wrong. Oh, that is so stupid. Open this one up. Okay, we actually got something in here. Um, My bin of balls, pom-poms, more pom-poms more pom-poms, these styrofoam balls, these I used for slime. Now this cabinet, I'm not gonna show you too closely. These are all kits and products that I want to test in future videos. This last cabinet, I'm really crammed against the wall right now. Again, it's just kits, ow, my finger. Woo! Okay, now I'm gonna move into the center of the room and this is where all the action happens. Ooh, where I do all the painting, where I film. I have these two tables. They slide around really easily so I can move them out of the way if I need to. And they raise and lower so I can have them at whatever height works best in the moment. This makes it really easy to change based on what I'm filming that week. For the most part, these tables are clear except for what I'm working on. The only thing that always sits on this table is my paintbrush holder. I got this because I thought that I could paint it and make it look festive 
digestive. I ordered this on Amazon. It uses a CD to turn. I don't know why, but it kind of makes me uneasy just knowing that it's there. I'm very sensitive. This is also another thing that's always on my desk and it's a pencil sharpener. And each of the tables have a drawer inside also. So this is all stuff that I just want to have easily accessible. My headphones, scissors, gel pens, my Sharpies, pen, pencil, eraser, chapstick, which I use constantly some tape, my dotting tools, a glue stick, some extra headphone fluffies, an X-Acto knife. This is just a little notepad just when I wanna write something down really quick. Under my tables is my little blue trash can. Thrilling, I know. Yeah, there's, uh, there's trash in there. I'm gonna start a new trend. What's in my trash can? Oh, that's paint. That is not a bodily fluid. Um, you know what? Let's not start that trend. The only other thing that's consistently in the center of my room is this little cart. It's usually within arm's reach, but it just kind of floats around this top area. I just keep completely empty, um, mostly. Besides stuff that I'm working on, I do have some leftover squishies. I need to put those away. I have um, all of my masking tapes. Why do I need so many different masking tapes? That's a good question. If you turn this thing around, I have this little basket hung here with popsicle sticks. I use these for mixing paint and some rubber bands. This is my scissors hoard. Some of them are quite dirty. Turn around again, I have my paper towels hanging here, which I use when I'm painting and such. Turn around again. I am using this as a place to store my little magnets that I've made out of shrink plastic. This is my blob collection. It's weird. I have a bunch of empty containers, paint palettes that really, really need to be cleaned. Oh look, these are clean because they've never been used. I have a lot of paint palettes. That's all I keep in this section. I have more magnets stuck over here. More magnets here, cupcakes and ice cream. Wonderful. On the very bottom, I keep stuff that, you know, I use regularly. Mod Podge, matte and glossy, fabric, glue, white acrylic paint. And back in here, I have gesso, hot glue gun, and more masking tape. Of course. Oh, look, there's more. And a couple little animal magnets down here. So that's everything in the cart. You may think that we've explored everything, but we have not. You can't see it from the outside looking in, but once you're actually in the art room and you look up, this is what you see. This is my Cabbage Patch doll collection, and it may be creepy to some of you, but I'm gonna show you anyway. I collected these when I was like 16, 17. Every single one came from either a yard sale or a thrift store, and I was just obsessed with them and fixing them up. So they're here, and they sit there and quietly stare at me as I work. Wow, if you journeyed through part one and made it to the very end of part two, you're a gem. This has been a lot, and it's been long, but I I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it. I think that some of you may be wondering where is the blue couch and all of that that you see in my videos sometimes? That's actually in another room. <laughs> across the hall. If you want to see a tour of that room, I'll have to make a part three of this video. So just let me know and I'll do that maybe next month. I don't want everyone to get toured out, but sure, tour in there. So. I'll see you. Bye.